All right, class, the first word, ATP. ATP is adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. It's energy and living things. It has three phosphates, three Ps. So one more time, ATP, energy and living things. It has three Ps. And it's short for adenosine triphosphate. All right. It gives up one of the P's and becomes ADP. So what's the difference between ATP and ADP? ATP is energy. ADP, no energy. That's only two phosphates. You need three for the energy. All right, the next word is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is when plants take in water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight and make glucose and oxygen. That is photosynthesis. It happens in the leaf. Again, photosynthesis, when plants take in water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight and make glucose and oxygen. Photosynthesis. The products are gonna be to your right. The product is the thing that comes out. That's gonna be to your right, like you see here. And this is going to be to your right. The reactants are always going to be to the left. That's the things that go in. The reactants are the things that you're putting in. Okay, that's the, what, you're make, what you're using to make a reaction. Okay, and then the product is the thing that's coming out. So the reactants are water and carbon dioxide, where the product is glucose and oxygen. All right? All right, so the first word we went over was photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is uh, when plants take in water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight and turn it into glucose and oxygen. But now we're gonna go ahead and look into even more details. You've been knowing for now that photosynthesis happens in the leaf. Now if you zoom in on the leaf, inside of a plant cell, you're gonna find an organelle called a chloroplast. And if you wanna get into more detail, you'd say photosynthesis happens in the Chloroplast. All right. So if leaf is not an option for photosynthesis, then you can say what? Chloroplast. Or which organelle? Chloroplast. That's where photosynthesis happens. So now, if you look there, the chloroplast looks like a like a green bean-looking thing with a bunch of pancake stacks, green pancake stacks. All right. So if you want to kind of see what the chloroplast looks like or identify the chloroplast, just look for like a green bean-looking thing with a bunch of green pancake stacks going up, okay? Those are called the thylakoids, but that's, that's the next word. So again, for chloroplasts, make sure you write this down. Where photosynthesis happens, where photosynthesis happens in a plant, in a plant cell, all right? Again, chloroplasts. The organelle where photosynthesis happens. Make sure you write that down, chloroplasts. The organelle where photosynthesis happens contains thylakoids. All right. All right, so now the next word is light dependent reaction. Now, what is the light dependent reaction? That's the reaction where light comes in. All right, that's gonna be the reaction where light comes in. Notice how it says light there. Light is coming into that chloroplast, okay? So the light dependent reaction, write this down. Light dependent reaction uses or needs light needs light to occur first step in photosynthesis okay light dependent reaction needs light to occur first step in photosynthesis notice the lights coming in next one thylakoids thylakoids are these green pancake stack looking things right here the green pancake stack looking things those are called thylakoids, all right? So write this down for thylakoids. It sounds silly, but it will help you know what it looks like, all right? Green pancake stacks. They look like green pancake stacks. So thylakoids, they look like green pancake stacks. And put this where the light dependent reaction happens, where the light dependent reaction happens, so again, thylakoids, 
They look like green pancakes. It's where the light dependent, like a green pancake stack. It's where the light dependent reaction happens. All right, next word is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is gonna be a green pigment. Okay, it has a green pigment. Chlorophyll has a green pigment that absorbs red and blue light, reflects green. Again, next chlorophyll. word, NADPH. Put this down for NADPH. The H, which stands for hydrogen, the H was added because of the splitting of the water during the light dependent reaction. Again, the H, which stands for hydrogen, was added during the light reaction when the water was split. The H comes from the H2O being split. Okay, when those hydrogen gets put on that NADP, and it becomes NADPH. The H was added during the light reaction when the water was split. Now, that H, make sure you put this down. NADPH is needed so that the Calvin cycle can happen. NADPH is needed so the Calvin cycle can happen. Notice in the picture there, NADPH and ATP are working together. See right there? They're both working together. All right? NADPH and ATP are needed to make the Calvin cycle happen. All right, so now we're on Calvin cycle. Calvin cycle is the dark reaction. Write that down for Calvin cycle. The dark reaction. All right? In other words, no light needed. So Calvin cycle, dark reaction, no light needed. And then you could put light independent reaction. It means the same thing. Light independent reaction, no light needed. Calvin cycle, the dark reaction. Light independent reaction, no light needed. Make sure you put that down for Calvin cycle. Also put this down for Calvin cycle. The second step in photosynthesis. The second part of photosynthesis. Second part of photosynthesis. Okay, the second part of photosynthesis is the Calvin cycle. The light reaction has to happen first. This one has to happen first over here. Then after that one happens, then you go to this one, okay, which is the Calvin cycle, which is the one that does not need light, okay? So remember that, it's the second step or second part, no lights needed, okay? I already talked previously that the NADPH and the ATP is needed to make the Calvin cycle work, all right? So once you get the NADPH and the ATP, the Calvin cycle will go ahead and do its thing, all right? For Calvin cycle, you can also put this down, takes in carbon dioxide, takes in carbon dioxide, finishes making the sugar. Takes in carbon dioxide and finishes making the sugar. All right. Again, Calvin cycle, dark reaction, second part of photosynthesis. All right, and you can put take in carbon dioxide, finishes making the sugar. All right, so now what we're looking at is the formula for photosynthesis. If you write all that down, it's a lot to write down. All right, you would uh, have the formula for photosynthesis. You need to memorize this. There's two things that if you're just learning today, you're fine. The pictures I was showing you earlier with the chloroplast and it showed you the light reaction and the, and the dark reaction, the one that was just on previously that had the Calvin cycle and it had the thylakoids on, it showed you the light reaction and the dark reaction. All right, if you memorize that picture and then you memorize this, formula which you should be writing down because that's the next it's not the next word isn't really a word the next word is a formula so you need to write this whole formula down all right this whole formula should be getting written down right now all right so now the formula is uh, not that difficult the formula is uh, 6 CO2 
plus six H2O. And then you notice there's an arrow there and sunlight is being added. Okay, think of that almost like an equal sign. All right, so the six CO2 plus the six H2O, those are the things that are gonna be on the left. Those are your reactants. Those are like your ingredients. Think of them like ingredients, like the things you're putting in, the things that go in are your reactants. It's like uh, the, the ingredients you're putting in, okay? And then that's gonna make C6H12O6 plus 6O2, okay? And those are gonna be your products. So C6H12O6 plus 6O2, those are the products that have been made uh, in photosynthesis. Now, one of them is what the plant really wants. That's that C6H12O6, okay? The byproduct, the thing the plant doesn't really care about is the 6O2, that's the oxygen, all right? The plant doesn't really care much about the oxygen. Uh, it just makes it in this process here and uh, it, it, it releases it. What it's really trying to get more than anything else is the, uh, the sugar, is what it's trying to make. All right, so oxygen would be considered a, it's a product, but it's called a byproduct, something that just happened to happen, all right? It's kind of like if a factory is trying to make uh, energy, power, power, power plant is trying to make energy, uh, its product is what? The energy. The byproduct could be the pollution, all right? It's not trying to make the pollution, but it just happens because in the process of making that energy, you could have some pollution, all right? Here with the plant, it's actually the product is trying to make is the, the sugar, the C6H12O6, all right? And then the byproduct is actually the, the oxygen that it's letting out. Beneficial for us because we use oxygen, all right? But again, the formula, you need to memorize it, all right? 6CO2 plus 6H2O, add in the sunlight, makes C6H12O6 and 6O2. Now, it should go without being said. 6CO2, again, these are the reactants, they're on the left. 6CO2, that's six molecules of carbon dioxide, okay? 6H2O would be six molecules of water, all right? Then your sunlight is bringing them together or helping the whole reaction happen, photosynthesis. And then that's gonna make C6H12O6, which is a glucose. Remember it has that one to one ratio, all right? It would look like a, like a hexagon, all right? And water I mean and uh, oxygen oxygen is O2 so that's six molecules of oxygen there all right so again the formula is there important thing about the formula is to know that the so on your after you write the formula down make sure that you put the product is on the what on the right the reactant is on the left so the product is to your right, where the reactants is to your left. That's always gonna be the case. The product is to the right, that's the thing that ended up happening, the thing at the end. And the reactants are the things you put together, and that's gonna be to your left. 